While working in renderings, you have many opportunities to change settings that will help enhance your experience. To use as an example, we'll go to a perspective. So let me click on a perspective, and when we open the perspective, you'll see perspective view settings. This screen is divided into four sections. The left hand, upper left hand corner is where we control the mode. Right now, you'll see that I'm set at texture medium. If I clicked on the arrow, the drop down uh, arrow next to that, I have options of working in wireframe, hidden lines, working in standard colors, working in textures. Textures is where you'll see actual textures, photorealistic textures as let's say countertops, wood graining, and so on. This is also where you can work in what, we, what I like to work in, what's called texture with edges. Texture with edges is sort of the best of both worlds. It shows you the beautiful texture, but it also puts the thin black outline around all the details on the doors. You can simply change this by choosing your favorite or the most appropriate mode setting for the coming drawing. So we'll leave this on texture medium for right now. On the right hand side of your screen you have lighting. Lighting allows you to do a number of things. For instance, ambient lighting. Ambient lighting, that controls your overall room lighting. So when you go in and take a look at your perspective and you decide it's a little bit too dark or a little bit too light, come back, go back into perspective view settings again and simply make an adjustment to this left or right darkening or lightening your overall room. And below that is ceiling light. In every drawing, there's a light right in the middle of the room. And if you wanted to move it, click place. That gives you the ability to move it anywhere you want within your rendering. The wattage, you can click on the arrow next to ceiling light and actually determine how bright that is. Above those are many other options for showing shadows, smoothing light, and even features like light ray, which will show dust in the air, just like you would see dust in a sunbeam coming through your window. Below that is a really important feature, but you're probably only going to use this once. This is called Output. Next to Predefined, you'll notice that my screen is set at full screen. What that means is, is that this is taking full advantage of my maximum screen resolution for the monitor that I'm using right now. When you first receive 2020, you may be set at 640 by 480. That's the lowest resolution possible. If, your draw, if you want to make your drawings look the best that they can, you want to move to full screen in order to take full advantage of the monitor that you're using. To the left hand side, this is what we call the view area. Here you can change a number of things. You can change the height at which you're viewing it at, which is 65 inches right now, which is an average view height for a person. But if you have an extremely tall client, or maybe a short client, or a client in a wheelchair, you can actually lower the, the, uh, the uh, view height or raise it to their height to show them exactly what they would see from their vantage point. To the below that, you have options for 3D and show uh, ceilings and floors. I typically leave those turned on. And below that, where you see ceiling and floor, in a moment, when I do my perspective, you'll see a ceiling and you'll see a floor. How did I place those? I clicked on the Browse button and simply scrolled through all the menu options and picked my favorite floor to show in this rendering. Once you've made your selections, you'll click View. We'll go in and click on a wall. We'll move to the left in this case. And we'll draw a perspective. Now. Changing your settings doesn't stop here. We're in the perspective we can still manipulate the drawing to our liking. On the right hand side of the screen you have magnifying glasses that allow you to move in and out. Below that, this is a feature that I use all the time, it's called change view. Change view allows you to turn your view right and left with the mouse, actually look down and look up just by moving the mouse away from me you're looking up, moving it back towards me we're looking down and if I wanted to zoom in let's say on this corner I simply roll the mouse wheel forward and I'm zooming in on that corner. You can zoom in as close as you want, you can tilt down and then pull back and look at your kitchen. You can look at it from any angle, focus on anything that you want in your drawing. Let me go back and recreate this drawing one more time. Let's say that we go back to perspective, and again, in our quality settings under uh, mode, let's say that we change this to hidden lines. We'll click view, and let's look at the sink base wall for a moment. I clicked within the workspace, and I'm going to pull straight back from it. When this comes up, you'll see that I now have a line drawing. I showed you a beautiful medium texture mode just a moment ago. Now we're looking at a line mode. Well, anytime you want in a drawing, 
you can go to the top of the screen where it says display and under display you can change your rendering. You can say I wanted to look at this drawing in wireframe. Now this is going to be very detailed. I typically only use wireframe on elevations but I wanted to give you a quick sense of what wireframe would do. If I click on display and I choose hidden line, we return to the hidden line drawing that you just saw. When we click display, let me drop down and choose a texture medium, which is similar to the drawing that we did last. When I go to view, let's go, I'm sorry, display, let's do one more. And this is one that I use often, texture with edges. I use texture with edges because it gives me all of the detail of the wood graining, the countertop material and so on. But if I zoom in on this, You'll see, let me zoom in on this door right here, you'll actually see the edge profiles on the door, the profiles on the molding. It gives you much, much more detail than just looking straight on at a photo image. It combines the photo image with the ever-popular line drawing.